Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Oblivion. So, if I remember my brain... Oh, right, right, right. We were going to retake the fringe, of course. Uh, so we have to go here. As you may notice... Oh, wait, it didn't do it. That's weird. It's actually supposed to get rid of the uh, fast travel points here. Uh, oh, okay, that's from this location. It, it is legitimately... Supposed to get rid of the uh, fast travel points, and I'm not sure why it has not. Maybe it does that when I get a little bit closer to it. Welcome to the house of me. All right. Ooh, the sky looks so pretty here. Wow. That's what you get when you have low light. Oh. It came out of nowhere. Oh, but she does call me the Duke of Mania. That's fun. All right, so if we head to the Gates of Madness, can we? Oh. Mad God's blessings, Your Grace. Well, that is who we're supposed to talk to. I'm pretty Speak sure. Speak quickly. We've received reports that the Fringe has come under attack by the forces of order. We've been commanded to hold our posts and be watchful. Can you suggest? Uh, all right. So, you're watching the posts and being mindful. I guess I have to go through. Ooh. Completely conquered by the forces of order. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, a lot of crystals around here, and I think at this point, oh my god, it got rid of everything. Ah, uh, I don't know if it was supposed to do that. Actually, oh, I oh no, I really hope it restores everything after this. Otherwise, it's gonna be a bitch. Well, I'll probably just run through and grab everything I found before, but. That's so annoying. Well, interesting. There's a... There's a glowing tower over there. A lot of stuff over here. Oh. There's pass wall. Uh oh. Well, this can't be good. Oops. All right. Thankfully, these guys are not too hard to kill. I think because they're, like, leveled so that... Oh, god damn it. I just... just want to hit them without hitting the people. You get disarmed? Oh. All right. You do stand for me. Pure water sword. Wait, he didn't have a heart? What? Oh, looks like a golden saint died. Oh, this one was already dead. I think they both are already dead. Yeah, so that's who's oh, left. A dark time has been thrust upon us. Passwall is under attack. We are outmatched and outnumbered. At first light, the spire at the center of town became active. Immediately, the area around it began to crystallize and change. Soon after that, the sky darkened and the nights came. All right. Well, what's, what's the spire? You've seen the spire in Passwall. It is believed to be a monument from times past, but its true purpose appears to be more sinister. I guess so. It appears so. to be a source of power for these invaders. A, a portal or some sort of gate. I don't know. If we cannot disable or destroy it somehow, I do not think that we can stop this invasion. Oh, we can stop this invasion. I have an idea how we might be able to stop them, but for now we must survive. I've been losing Orioles with each attack, and I'm down to nothing but men. Oh, we wow. Are down here. If we lose, <clears throat> the gates of madness will fall. If the gates fall, the enemy will flood into the aisles. We will be helpless to stop them. But now that you've arrived, perhaps we can slow them down. Yeah, what are we doing? We cannot talk now. We don't have very long until the next wave arrives. Even though I have served with these Orioles for centuries, as the Duke of Mania, it is your right to command the troops. Command them if you will, or leave it to me. Either way, make haste. Our time is short. So, there's two things you could do there. You can either give them orders, or you can have her give the orders. 
honestly, it really doesn't matter that much. It changes their weapon lo loadout a little bit so that if, I mean, like, I guess if I really wanted to, I could have them all die and pick up all the different types of Golden Saint weaponry, but I don't really care that much because there's other ways of getting the Golden Saint weaponry. Um, so I'm just gonna have her do it. I thank you for your trust. In your name and for the sake of the Shivering Isles, I shall not disappoint you. Inspect the battlefield and provide what aid you can to the troops. Speak with me when you feel that they are ready for battle. Form up. By the staff, we will not allow this town to fall. Are you prepared for battle, Your Grace? Yeah. Uh, we'll give provide us a few aid. moments. Um, so they'll take position. Her initial orders is to have three people out in the front, one person in the back. I, I mean, I'm fine with this. However, just on the off chance someone dies, I'm gonna grab one of you. We will keep. Uh, da, 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 and you can you. I thought you could give him a new order. The night. No. It's okay, never mind. Victory. I thought that's how you give. You could give another order, but. Uh. Huh. Yeah, I thought I thought I could override one of her we will keep commands, but apparently not. Vengeance will be ours. We will keep fighting. Yep. I can't. Okay. Well, I guess we we're just stuck with this. Have you provided this if you have done all that you Yep. Time is Oh, shoot. No, I didn't mean to say that. Have you provided <laughs> All right, we're ready. But in reality, you could just stand in front and destroy all the knights. So waves of them are going to come. Here they come. In fact, they spawn over here, really. So you just go up and kill them all if you really want to save them. They do sort of ignore you, which is a little interesting. But, um, I think something tells me that they are actually not... Oh. They're actually not as leveled as the uh, Orioles here. Wow, and you just are gonna run away forever. Ah, killing everything. Back to your ranks. More are coming. Yep, there's this next wave. Of course, the idiots are going to like run out in front. But I think it's a good thing if you give them an order to stand in the front. Oh, one died. Because the maces that they get are replaced by war axes. If you put them in back, they're replaced by bows. And there's a third option to put them on the flank, which is what I wanted to do, which gives them swords. Um, wow. Oh, this ran out of charge. Oh, well. Switch to the next weapon. Let's see. <laughs> I forgot that's stolen. Uh, oh yeah, dagger friendship. I'm not attacking. What are you talking about? Oh, I don't. I have a full soul gem. What? Oh, because they're cons considered human enemies. Well, that's not great. All right. Well, I'm not gonna recharge now. I just want the... Oh, the heart's already disappearing. You, get back to your post, you idiot. Alright. Well, that dude's gonna die. Wait, what? Where did more come from? I swear there's one more than there should be. Or somehow he, like, wrapped around from behind. Which is incredibly impressive. Hearts? Hearts? No hearts? God, most of these don't drop hearts. It's sort of annoying. Victory is ours. For the moment. Yeah, it's for the we moment. Let's discuss our next move. The Spire is obviously their source of power. This battle will not end until we find a way to shut it down. Then we have to shut the Spire down. I am not certain, but do not lose heart. I have an idea. Do you? The ruins of Zedafen run under Passwall. The entrance to the south of the town has been sealed for centuries. 
One of my scouts reported that the ruins have been opened recently, and a number of these knights are now guarding the entrance. Remember that place we went through at the beginning of Shivering Isles? Yeah. I did, and she did not return. I can only assume that she was caught and killed. Hmm. If we attempt to assault Zedafen, Passwall will be overrun and we will lose the fringe. Additionally, our forces are dangerously thin. We have no idea what opposition may await us inside. Lots. Your insight is impressive. While we draw their attention here, you should be able to slip inside Zedafen. Once inside, search for the source of the Spire's power. It must be underground somewhere. Once you find it, destroy it. Good luck, Your Grace. May the truth light your way through the darkness. Thankfully, uh, the Golden Saints are, uh, quite, um, what's the word? Friendly. Oh, no, one, only one of them died. Okay. Well, from here, uh, there's not a lot we can do. I'm pretty sure all of Passwall is blocked off. Like, I feel like this is a separate, um, just area altogether. It's, like, uh, completely cut off from the rest of it. I do think if we wander around too much, we may encounter more Knights of the Order. Um, so there is a way in through there. By the way, we can totally get to... The oh, no, it's blocked off. There's an invisible wall. Um, I almost thought I was about to run into an enemy there. So, the way we're supposed to go is that way. I thought, for some reason... I thought that there was a Zedifen, like, over here. But we might not actually be able to get in that way. Maybe? That's the Boneyard, I think. By the way, you can rediscover these. Which, I don't know if it actually adds to your, like, rediscovered stuff that you've gotten, but... It's interesting. We will come back here later. To the Gardens of Flesh and Bone. I don't think there is anything here for us just yet. Like, we can't walk in here, I don't think. Yeah, needs a key. But it's nice that they've removed the enemies, though. So at least it feels a little bit more... I don't know, like, an, like a special area of sorts. I do want to quickly rediscover the, the portal back to Oblivion. Or, I guess, not Oblivion to Cyrodiil? Yes, Cyrodiil. Because you can't actually go there. And she's just wandering off over there. Cool. Because why not? Um, just to have it in case I actually need to go back for whatever reason, because it's not, I don't think it, it shouldn't be blocked off from us, but I think it actually is. Yep. It Whoa. does not physically exist for us. All right. So we're just in a completely new place, but that makes me wonder why they put the gardens of flesh and bone in at all. They could have just left it as nothing. Alright. Zedifen. It's down here somewhere. Yep. There are knights of the order. Wait, this doesn't have any charge? Oh my god. I'm running out of charge for everything. Use up these. I used that on the wrong weapon. Cool. Also, I think I'm about to get uh, Dawnstar back. Because it's not in my inventory. Dawnfang, there we go. And this works wonders on them. Man, if that orc hadn't had this weapon, I wouldn't have had my favorite weapon in the game. It is my favorite. Alright. Really? No hearts? Why are they not dropping hearts? This is a bad thing, by the way. Because I'm not going to be able to d destroy crystals. But I guess because they weren't summoned by a crystal... They're not technically uh, 
that. Oh, there it is. There's the door to a Cyrodiil. Which I'm pretty sure we can get to. Man, but everything's like dead and removed. For you know, for a for Daedric Prince of Order, this is a very orderly. Stuff's like just falling over all over the place. There we go. Door to Cyrodiil, if we need to. Um which I doubt we will, but never hurts to have. If I just need to suddenly go back and like get a ton more healing potions because I actually run out or something. Because I will do that. I'm not above it. I'm petty as fuck. Right. Let's go into Zedefin. Zedefin sounds like some prescription drug. Hey, look, we found it. Oh, another crystal's coming up. Thankfully, not completely. Because a whole crystal would summon a priest of order who can endlessly create these things. Who are you? Uh. Um. <laughs> Mod, maybe? Or... Something? I don't... I'm confused. I don't... I don't think they are supposed to exist there. I really doubt it in any case. God, they make such weird noises. Like dinosaurs. Did you just... Oh, hell no, you did not. You did not just disarm my favorite weapon. There we go. Send you flying in the air for that. I think a couple more kills and we uh, will end up getting the better one. Oh, he's on the other side of the wall. That's the way to go in, but I feel like I should murder everyone. Murder everyone. Turn into a plinket for no reason. Is that? That's not a obelisk. No, it's not. Ah, yes, and this is where we come out of later. Damn it. Yeah. You just stab me. There we go. Now they're all dead. Wait, two lives? What? Did it reset the counter? Because I know I've killed more people with Dawnfang. I've killed like five. Maybe I read the two as the five as a two. Because font. This is an important lesson in uh, choosing your fonts correctly so that the players can know what the hell they're doing. Okay. Um, are we ready to go in? You have 21 uses. Um, I could just pump a bunch into Dawn Fang. This Dawn Fang is pretty powerful. As we've seen, it can go through a lot of people. It has a lot of charge. Alright, and that's the end of that. The only problem is here, we can't recharge with Death Cleaver, so there's really no point in recharging it. Um, all the enemies are just going to be normal uh, knights. So, yeah, it might just be best for us to go through and kill them this way. So, I could try and sneak. Well, why don't... Yeah. Oh, no. Ring of Lordship. As much as I like the Ring of Lordship, though. There we go. Yeah. Um. Let's see. So, as you can see, all the Gromites are dead. So, if you cared about them, cry now. Good. No one, no one cried? Okay, that's what I thought. Um. And everywhere there are 
pillars of order now. However, all these uh madness pockets. I thought they refilled, but apparently not. Now it makes me wonder if this is actually the same place. Ooh, or is this poison outfit? That's really weird. Greater soul gem. I'll take that. Eh. Oh, actually, both of these are pretty good. So there is a priest of order over there. They just cast buffs on them, and they kept going. Are they running around to, like, try and meet me? I'm not entirely sure. That was a weird little sight. Down that way, there's more people. But I think we should take out this priest of order. And perhaps put a heart in the obelisk. Did he not... Oh, no, he's dead now. Okay. Uh, we have all of his stuff. We want the key. Is he dead dead? Or is he going to get... Okay, that, I guess that's not an actual obelisk. I thought it was. These guys ran around. But where did they end up? Did they just vanish? That Was that only... That might have been solely for the purposes of like... showing off like it just may have been a visual thing that's kind of awesome in a way like they come through they get buffed and then they run out i've n I, i've never seen just like a useless attention to detail like that in oblivion i mean there are attentions to detail that are very nice but nothing on that level interesting I, I suppose maybe you ha you're supposed to be fighting them, like by going down through. But if you're sneaking, I guess it really doesn't matter. Another priest of order. Ah, but there are knights here. Yes, him we may have to take out normally. I guess the madness deposits actually don't respawn. Whether it's easier to go through these guys or the grumites, I'm not sure. I'm almost positive that the Grumites are easier to kill. No, or, well, nah, the Knights are easier to kill. Take out the Priest first. There we go. No boss for you. Oh, okay. They know I'm here. <laughs> Whoa, did someone poison me? Alright, can I... Alright, alright. Can I just get up? I think one of them killed themselves on my armor. Okay. There we go. Everyone's dead. That, that feels nice. We should collect. Wow, sometimes they just don't drop hearts. I thought it was a 100% drop on them, but apparently not. The priest has a diamond, apparently. Okay. Okay, there we go. Anything in here? Ah, eh, just minor loot. All right. Another room cleared. Onward we go. That guy's late to the party. I think it's just like showing you that they're being created from this direction, so you have to go that direction um, in order to stop them. Like here, they're coming from over there, so obviously you should go that way. Or, if you're like me, you want to explore everything. You decide to kill the Priest of Order. Oh, come on, he didn't die? Stop. There we go. I don't know why I always want to destroy them. Oh, did you really? That looked like it was going through the floor for a second, and I got scared. Whoa, what the? What the what? Oh, I was down on the floor. Like the camera's facing 
completely the wrong way. Oh, we're out of charge completely. Sweet. Oh, it's gonna take forever now. Oh, these guys actually do a decent amount of damage. Maybe I just haven't been paying attention to my health. What we should do real quick is... If I can find one, there we go. Repair! Oh my god, there's a lot to repair. I had some pieces of armor that were down to zero. That's kind of impressive, actually. <laughs> Uh, do I have anything with souls? Really? None of these have souls. Cool. Well, I guess we're gonna have to switch to this. I'm not attacking. What are you talking about? Yeah, we'll take that. Ooh, you have two hearts of water. Even though they, won they weigh one each, they uh, are incredibly important. Because those obelisks are annoying as hell. They really are. What? Well, not open for me, specifically. That's... That's so... Terrible. Oh, there's a fire up ahead. So that's the way that the night came from. Well, I think we actually have to go down that way, too. Oh! Oh! Yeah, we have to go down that way. So, what's on the other side here? Quickly cast spell a couple more times, get some health back. Well, just obelisks. But it's cool to see them come out of nowhere. And on this side, more obelisks and another priest of order. Oh no, just knights. Not even priests. Interesting. So is there no reason to actually come around this way? Like, at all? Because there's just knights over here? Yeah, the gate doesn't even open from here. Well, alright. I mean, I'm not really going to fight them because there's no reason to, but... <laughs> Good to know, right? Now you know. When you play through here, just ignore them. Ugh. I hit the hit my head in the wall. There we go. Now we can go through the middle here. I mean, I guess the only reason to go there is if you absolutely need hearts of order. Uh, it's, you know, you could possibly pick up two, but it seems like they randomly will or will not have them. Can't really speak to it. Sometimes they do so. What is that? <laughs> All right, so we got to shut down that obelisk. Uh, this one, I believe, works differently. It's, it's you. I remember you. What are you doing down here? How did you get past the knights? I mean, you know, I'm a badass. I attacked. I ran from Passwall. They didn't say a word. They just started killing the screams by the staff you can't imagine i mean i can screams. imagine pretty i could pretty the much imagine slipped down here thinking we'd be safe but no we landed right in the middle of them fellas ran off with them and left me to die me that ingrate disloyal cur imagine leaving me here all alone <laughs> wow that's uh that's terrible. I didn't say they took him. He went with them. Oh. I've heard his voice a few times around here. I think, I think he joined them. That's terrible. Every time I look for a way out, I get twisted around and end up back here. But I'm too smart for them. Are you? You seem to have no trouble, though. Look at you. Barely a scratch. You'd be the perfect person to protect me. Excuse me? Maybe you're just a coward. Oh, sorry. I wasn't aware that being a courageous hero was a requirement around here. <laughs> Look, you may be a scamp's ass, 
But I'm offering you the chance to be the hero of Passwall. Escort me out of here, protect me, get me home, and those people will praise you more than you can imagine. So you have two options here. Uh, you can tell him to stay here, in which case he will try and find his way out and he will die a scripted death. There is no way to save him that way. Or you can have him come with you, in which case he is actually marked as essential and he can't die. So extra firepower. I'll Why not? I, I like to hurt things. Maybe I can hurt these damn knights. But that being said, I'm going off of the vanilla version of this game. And, uh... Well, let's just say that I've been proven wrong by the mods that fix things in heavy quotations more than once. Oh, I'll take that. And, of course, you do not sneak, so I guess I'm just going to have to do... Where's... Oh, it's the ring of happiness. This. Because you don't sneak, buddy. You just walk around like an idiot. Actually, can't wait while... Yeah. I thought it... Well... No, I can't even wait in the previous thing, I don't think. So someone down there is defected. Felas, specifically. Felas is a priest of order. No. Alright. We really need to kill one of these things. So that Sheldon can pick up a weapon. Because he does. Alright. Go ahead and pick up a sword, Sheldon. There we go. Really? Are you not going to pick up a sword? Although, he seems to do a ton of damage with just his fist, but... Ooh. Yoink. Just grab that, just in case. Nice. Potion of Feather is always great. Listen, there are a ton of loot on these guys. You sure you don't want any? I mean, like, there's swords everywhere. Like, there, right there. Pure sword of order. Ooh, crystal chest. Yes. What's in here? Master Mortar and Pestle. I think I already have one. Wow. This might be the single worst order chest that I've ever opened. There's a couple of them about. Oh, God damn it! It's still making... Knights. Just get this out of the way and slap as many as we can in there. There's three. Oh, God damn it. I think I may have to switch to this now. We're officially out of uh, charges. Oh no, it's deactivated. There we go. I must escape before I am trapped. Is that a thing? I don't know if you can actually physically be trapped. Only because there's like a million Knights of Order everywhere. Oh yeah, cool. He finally picked up one of their uh, things. I do want to grab that last Knight who it seems was actually killed by the Falling Rebel. All right, we got to run out of here, though. Come on, Sheldon. Hopefully you can make it past the, all the rocks. And I believe we go this way. Maybe, maybe we weren't supposed to go this way, but I don't know. Oh, right, right, right. We go through this place. All right, it's useless to sneak. Oh, it's still... Okay. It's still falling. Cool. Jesus Christ, did you just kill him in two hits? What level are you? Yay, hearts of order. Uh, up here? Nope, not through there. Through here? <laughs> the fucking trap. Is that Sheldon's health that was super low? I'm almost positive he's marked as essential, though. Or at least he should be. Ah. 
Unless he just died. Oh. I don't know where he went, but he came back. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, okay, cool. He's unconscious. Well, thank god he can't die. Alright, alright. Alright, 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 alright. Christ. They're just getting annoying. I may have to pick up an order sword and use it. Because, uh... I think I might be out of all charges. Alright. And then up this way? I think? So that's a something. Ah, opens this gate. Perfect. Got it. I don't think this thing is gonna open again. You are the worst escort in history. I'll find another way out. Get going. Um, alright, well, see ya. <laughs> I can't remember if that was supposed to happen or not. Okay. So moving on. We don't have Sheldon with us anymore, which is a little unfortunate to be honest, because he's powerful. But, at least we can keep going. Ooh, oh, there he is. Well, look at this. I found the easy road. How are things going over there? Wow. <laughs> that was... <laughs> All right, and then... Yeah, so, if you did not escort him, he will be dead on the ground over there or something like that. Or in here. So, you know... Sheldon can and will die if you do not escort him. Really? Now of all times? Oh. I think maybe they're scripted to die in like one hit here. And we make it out. Bam. Or it crashes out. Because it's known to do that. Sorry for the extremely short episode this week. Um, So apparently autosaves were off and... I would have to do all of that over again, but I am actually running a little short on time in recording this. So we will finish it up next week. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I feel so bad. Um, but uh, I do want to ask one thing. Um, in the next episode, I'll give a spoiler. We're rebuilding the gatekeeper and you can choose different parts and stuff to make, to give yourself better things. I think start thinking about it now if you want but i'm gonna give you guys the option to choose what pieces i'm taking uh yeah okay so i'll see you guys next time because i have to redo that section sometime this week uh thank you all for watching Bye bye <laughs>